Welcome ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, it is your host with the most, it is your boy Young Lord Marco, Marco the Kettle from the Kettle's Lounge. And today, we have the third of the three games from Violotti Gotti, which is this game, Lady in a Leotard with a Gun, and the third one, Spectre Woods. This one out of the three games just mentioned is certainly the hardest one. There certainly was a lot of times throughout where I would get frustrated, where I'd get annoyed. But alas, all bad things must come to an end. And here we are. So, where's the aim of this game? It's to complete all 10 levels get all urns which is just you get one for completing the level and one for completing an extra objective first one which is the level you've just seen as you can see is clear level and kill all enemies the second mission you have to use the green block and you must slowly progress through while destroying all purple blocks. Now this level is not too hard, it took me one or two attempts. This won't be my actual playthrough uh, while game platinum because boy did some of the levels take me a while to well complete. This one doing it took me four or five uh, a minimum attempts but here is how I completed it at least it might not be the most efficient way solid way but it is a way nonetheless One thing I will say about this game, and what I will comment on is the music. Uh, while playing this game, you might notice a lot of this is uh, thought of a commentary, but the music in the game is quite overbearing at times, and I don't know, I just had to play the game on mute, but for 15 minutes it's not so bad. Coming up here, now that we've finished the second level, we'll be moving into the third and this one seems we missed up on the start. This one took me I'd say a few attempts because uh, one of the biggest problems with this level is killing the shells with well, the shells, like you've just seen there. So this one definitely took a few times. But overall, it's not too hard. The objectives here is complete the level, as you see me do. And you must complete the game, well, not the game, the mission in under 40 seconds. Going up on the third level, this level, probably the hardest level there was. In this level you must kill 16 enemies with a cannon without missing. And this attempt here shows you how unforgiving the level can be. This is after 150 so attempts. See, there's a real magic on how to actually do it. It's a lot about timing and as long as the enemies are lined up in the cannon, 
then you can tend to hit them. Another thing I'd like to mention, all kills have to be with the cannon. Like, let that sink in. For instance, in that scenario, the middle one does its path, its flight path, and it comes up and you're above it and you stand on its head. That's a reset. At no point in time can you miss. Yeah, and that was just silly of me there. And, yep. Yeah. So on to the actual attempt where I pass. One thing I'd like to comment on is, you can see just throughout this entire mission how lucky I actually get, and it's very, I don't want to say apparent, but very apparent on how difficult doing this is, there's a lot of patience, like I said, doing this mission I did about 150 maybe attempts. Uh, and this was uh, actually the next day, PAX, for any of those who knows PAX, it was his birthday party and he invited me, and uh, I actually got the message while I was playing this game on that exact mission, and yeah, 150 attempts, give or take, but here on to the fourth mission, I believe, oh, apparently not. This is the fifth. Here, simple aim of the game is to complete the level and kill all enemies. Now this one's tougher than it seems because of a particular enemy, which you'll see after, or towards the end I would say. There's them, and there you see the little shell minion. And you've got to throw your hat, hit the shell minion with the hat, then. Do that. Back to the mission I thought we were going to be doing. This one you have to complete the mission without doing no damage, and I actually had to search up a guide on how to do this because it. I couldn't for the life of me understand how you'd do this mission for the part that's just coming up so you jump on this block slide across jump on the flower and I didn't know what to do but it's just something as simple as spikes can't hit you if they can't touch you something I should have realised but And on to the next one. The next one here, another difficult mission that truly couldn't get my head around until after I saw the guard. Which really I should have thought about actually taking a block up with me but we've done it now and you're here so
Oh, yep, yeah, and the objectives for that one is beat under 40 seconds. Another one, another difficult level here. Where you have to take no damage and on first glance, first attempt of the mission, seemingly impossible. Just for this next section, you'll see it gets very chaotic. And there I should have been damaged, but we made it through. Coming up, two more levels left. Similar to the second level. I want to say second level. You have to get all the purple blocks. But this one, I feel, is much more easier. It's harder to control, but easier to beat, in my opinion. No mistake there. So as a Platinum, well I've got some free time, I, I enjoyed this game and going for the Platinum more than I thought I would, it's a cheap game, 20 pence, and I actually enjoyed it, I would say out of all of them, I actually enjoyed this the most even though I found this the hardest. And the experience itself was just overall enjoyable. Like I like, like it. For a for a cheap game, cheap platinum, it's there's not more you could wish for for the price you're getting for what you're getting. So as a platinum, I'd have to rate this platinum. We'll go. 5 out of 10. It was a game though. Seemingly the same as what I said with the Platinum. It, it's cheap. You don't really expect to get high octane gameplay graphics. Out the Wazoo, similar to maybe Red Dead Redemption or some shader mods for certain games like GTA or Minecraft. On to one of the final levels now. Another difficult one. So this one is like a mini platformer if you will. Where you start off by having to jump on turtles, then to jumping on flying enemies, then to jumping on more turtles, and it's the final bit that very rhythmic. If you don't have good timing, it's definitely a difficult task to ask for. As a platinum for a game. Would I, if it had stackables, would I do it again? Maybe. It all depends on how I did it. Uh, and I wouldn't try if that makes sense. Like, I, I'd go for it whenever I've got nothing to do, when I've got, like, the most spare free time. But it's definitely not something I'd redo over and over again like some platinums like black ops 3 i'd happily platinum again however this is not black ops 3 and we're on the final mission here where you have to escape now you're going to notice a cut for when my platinum trophy pops to when the recording edits and that's because you cannot actually get eaten by the big guy for the trophy uh, however 
if you do get eaten by the big guy on this level here, you don't reset the entire level. So just for practice, I did my best. Oh, 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 oh. I was uh, trying to learn the level, I should say. Coming up to the end. Um, it's been your host with the most, it's been your boy Marco. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.